What's going on, YouTube? It's Fitzbro, and we're here with the AoE4 media preview, casting a game featuring Soldier, a renowned AoE3 player playing as the French, versus Bodkin Arrow playing as the Chinese. And we're gonna cast this game, and I'm particularly interested to see how Soldier does with the French. I know he just got access to this game and is playing the French. This could be his very first game with them, quite possibly. So let's see how he does and if he has any unique strategies for them. Um, but uh, they're very strong civilization as he, everyone's gonna learn very quickly. Um, so Soldier starting out, he's got his food with his sheep and he is going ahead and dropping down a, a lumber camp and then he is dropping his mining camp. So going for both economic buildings right away. Um, sometimes you see people go straight for the mining and then lumber, but uh, he's getting both. So we'll, we'll hop back in. Let's go see what Bakken Arrow is up to. Uh, so Bakken Arrow playing as the Chinese, starting with his lumber camp. And where is his gold? Oh boy. Okay, it's over here on the uh, east side of his map. So dropping down in his mining camp. He has done the same kind of opening uh, with his lumber camp and now going to transition to the gold. Select going around, getting those sheep. And AoE4, as you can see here, uh, those sheep uh, do uh, fo follow your scout. Let's get the cinem cinematic view. Ooh, look at that. So we can get the uh, rotation. Ooh, fancy, fancy, fancy. So look at those beautiful sheep over the train. Game just looks really, really nice. And he has got plenty of sheep. It's interesting the wolves don't attack the sheep. They're just living in harmony with the sheep. <laughs> so let's go back, see what Soldier is up to um okay so right now he is just mining his gold that so he can age to the second age um it does cost us uh, 400 food and 200 gold to start to age up to the second age and uh i won't rotate as much because i know it'll get a little confusing to get oriented uh on this map but going out into hunting early on very interesting now you do gather from hunts a lot faster uh than you do from uh, the sheep or the berries and so he's going out for some early hunting and it does look like uh, he's going to be getting that survival techniques right out of the gate so a very greedy opening for sure i'm um, going for that improved hunting early on in this game uh leaving those few sheep underneath his town center um so i guess he went to get the reason why he opened to get the wood was so that he could uh research survival techniques now the the techs are cheaper for the french one thing to note um now we got wolf attacking the villagers here but those builders hopefully he notices and will punch him down one thing is builders won't automatically target a wolf even if they're under attack which can kind of stink sometimes if you don't recognize uh that your troops are being attacked let's go see what bacanero is doing uh so he's got his wood is he going for a hunt as well um it looks like he is going out and building his first mill on his hunt so uh you know my just first impression here is maybe this is the meta starting off with putting your mill on a hunt um forward in your base just because it's worth uh, that income you're going to be getting there. Um, is he going to research survival technique techniques? He, at least he has not yet. Um, getting his gold um, and working towards his age up. We just hit the three minute mark. Um, so out there hunting. Let's look if we reveal this map. Let's take a look what we have here. So we have one, two, three sacred sites uh, here across the middle of the map. Um, now, if you hold those for 10 minutes, uh, it does equal a victory. Uh, but you cannot capture them till the third age uh, with a uh, a priest. Now, let's see. He's putting down his economic landmark, the Imperial Academy. Um, and this makes nearby uh, buildings generate plus 100% tax gold. So your unit, your buildings will generate gold and your Imperial officers will come around and they will collect that gold. Um, so he can, or Imperial official rather. Um, so in the second age, you see him get there. A very unique thing about the uh, the Chinese economy. Another thing is, uh, the Chinese get dynasties as they move out through the ages. So if you you can actually build both landmarks as you're aging up um, for each age. And if you get both landmarks for each age, it unlocks a dynasty, which has different economic military bonuses. Um, it's actually not displayed here in the observer, but uh, that is something to know about the Chinese. They have a, a little bit more intricate uh, kind of age up slash uh, ecosystem. Okay, Soldier uh, is getting to his hunts. Let's see if he has a plan as he moves here into the Second Age. What is he aging up with? He's going up with the School of Cavalry, which honestly, I don't see any world where you don't select this uh, age up uh, one uh, landmark. It makes it so you can immediately train cavalry and also boost the speed of training by 20%. Uh, in the Royal Institute, landmark reduces research costs by 25%. 
Ah, I didn't realize that part. Okay, so there you go. Very good landmark, and it helps him get out some early raiding. Now, Bog and Arrow has already hit the second age. Oh, well ahead of Soldier. Um, but I'm getting this... Well, let's see. What's he got here? I was going to say maybe he's going to defensively. He's not getting any stone. Usually early stone is an indicator of going for age uh, for a second town center. Dude, where is his stone? Am I missing something here? Where is his stone? Uh, hold on. Let's uh, reveal the map. Um, His stone is way out here. Wow. Hold on. Oh, it's right there. It's hiding in plain sight. I don't know why I couldn't find it, <laughs> but there it is. Okay, so he's got his stone there um, and is working on... What is he doing right now? He's putting down... He's built something. His houses. I keep looking to see if he's got a military building somewhere. I'm not sure uh, where exactly he, he's building it. Oh, he built a barracks right here. Okay, so he's got some spearmen, and it looks like he's just going to go out and probably just defend his uh, archers or his uh, hunters, probably. Now, let's see if soldier is coming out with his knights. Okay, royal knights are already on their way. Now, these units, they do not mess around. They are super, super strong. And uh, honestly, even those early spearmen, the royal knights are going to do okay against. They, they will they will take those out. Um, so they're moving in and certainly going to be raiding. He knows where he needs to raid. He knows that he's out there hunting. Um, so we're going to see this royal knight in action here in just a second here. There we go. He's reached the middle. Now there's two spearmen. He's running away. He might not realize that he probably can actually take this. And he will take a little bit of damage. Um, but, you know, he doesn't really need to. He can just run around for a while. There we go. We got the, the wolf actually chasing. Uh, now that there's four spearmen, you know, they can take on this royal knight. Um, so he needs to be careful now. Probably going to back out. And there we go. We do see that happening. Um and uh, meanwhile, he does know that he's gathering here and is going to be putting a little bit of pressure here. But let's talk about counters. We got the barracks with spears versus uh, you know cavalry here. Um, so he just needs to micro his his spearmen, and he could be okay. If I was in soldier's shoes here, I would maybe be running down and trying to raid somewhere else and just splitting those knights up everywhere because that's just make it as hard as possible for him to micro this. Let's see what Bodkin Arrow is up to. Um, probably pretty happy. He's got the counter to his army at the moment. Probably not too worried. Um, he is scouting and does see uh, in soldier's base here. Um, let's see what he does see. Uh, not a whole lot. He knows that there's a town center. Uh, he knows what age up one her, but that's kind of already assumed. And here we go. Knight's going around. And look at that. Just like I said, getting a pickup on those villagers. And he can just run away. And eventually he can research a tech so that you can heal these guys up. So they're one villager down. Going after the Imperial official. Imperial official is low on health. Will he kill it? Yes, he does. He was able to kill the official. And these guys escape. With just about half health, that one, a little under half health. Um, and man, I mean, good value. He killed a villager, he killed a pyramid official. That's where the hunt for the food. And the thing that's absolutely devastating, I find, for the French is if they are even moderately successful. There we go, a third villager dying, or is that maybe a second villager? Um, even if they're moderately successful in these raids, and there we go, another villager. The French produce villagers at a faster rate in the first place. So not already, not only are they already ahead in villager count. Every villager they kill, this puts them even further in the lead. And so now we can see maybe three or four villagers uh, have died. Um, units killed. Look here. Seven units killed has lost zero units. So a net gain for soldier. Um, and adding these up. And what you can actually do is research a tech so these knights will heal later on. And there we see uh, soldier doing a really good job early uh, mixing in some archers. He did throw down a mid-map archery range and is using that to ward off those spearmen. And those archers will be very effective at countering spears. Although we also have Bacchanera throwing down his own archers, um, trying to counter that. But he is pushed off of that food and has lost eight units so far. Um, looking at the score, um, you can see Soldier clearly in the lead. Uh, we have a Soldier sitting on 36 uh, economic units versus the 24 of Bodkin Arrow. And man, oh man, uh, if that isn't a difference between these two sieves, I don't know what else is. Um, I don't, you know, I haven't seen Bodkin Arrow make any huge missteps. He made uh, the Spearman that you would think he would want to counter these, but they're just able to get the runaround on you. And it's really hard to truly uh, keep all those villagers safe. And if you are behind, and, and uh, you have to have at least town center, two town centers to try to even match the French, um, he's just slowly falling further and further behind. And uh, so right now, uh, he's got his archers trying to uh, take out uh, the enemy archers. 
Pike trying to get on some of these low health Royal Knights, but I just am not sure if it's going to be enough. Soldier just continue to run around. I mean, let's see, do we have any, okay, the Pike Spearmen have not been uh, upgraded yet. Um, these, these, these Royal Knights can actually, kill, there we go, finally take out the Spearmen. And uh, I am not sure how Bacanero is going to get back in this game right now. In comes Soldier's Army. Royal Knights starting to flood in the base. When they get on that villager line, that's when you're going to know it's uh, it, it's trouble time here. Uh, Soldier hasn't hit those villagers yet. Uh, looks like he's going to maybe just try to siege down the mill. Nope, going for the villagers, and there we go. Uh, going to go up there and watch. There we go. Villagers going down. One villager going down. Two villagers going down. Imperial official under fire. Three going down, four going down. I mean, yeah, does absolutely devastating hits. Uh, and if we look at the uh, the military score here right now, uh, 41 <laughs> units killed. He has only lost five units in total. Um, and <laughs> GG is called. And wow, that might be the quickest game I have casted. Soldier taking the victory with the ever so powerful French. I would highly recommend going back and see how a soldier played this because it was super, super clean. Early pressure, 10 minutes and 49 seconds. Let's take a look at these graphs here. Um, you look at the villager count. And just look how far he uh, is ahead here. Now, he did get a few kills, but this is before even any villagers die. He's already had several villagers um, and just is able to uh, just absolutely dominate this game. If you enjoyed this game, guys, please make sure you hit the subs subscribe button and click that alert notification. I really appreciate you guys checking out the channel. I'm going to have plenty more casted games, Age of Empires for build order, civilization guides, and much more on my YouTube channel. So make sure you go in there and check that out. And until next time, thanks for watching.